A Southeast Texas mother is fighting back after she lost her daughters in a collision caused by an impaired driver. Six News reporter Callie Desimone shows us she's fighting back by raising money for awareness and victims' families. It's a bracelet this mother always wears. It's her way of holding on to her daughters. They were hit head on and killed instantly in Botter. Sandy Nugent's daughters, 12-year-old Kristen Grubbs and her 11-year-old sister Katie Grubbs were killed a year and a half ago. An impaired driver struck the car they were riding in. It's a struggle. This year has been much tougher than my last year. She says she'll never forget the day that changed her life. Everything just stopped that day from cheerleading to softball, school. I mean, everything my life was, it went to a complete halt. Nugent says little achievements, the ones celebrated with mothers and daughters, those are gone. There's a lot that I won't have. I mean, I'll never have grandchildren, and I don't get to see them go to prom. I don't get to see them learn to drive or graduate. There's just so much that was taken away from me. This place holds memories for Sandy Nugent, a place she took her daughters to celebrate softball victories. Now her daughter's jersey hangs on the wall. Now Nugent is gearing up for the Walk Like Mad 5K at Lumberton High School in September. Monday night, she's raising money for the 5K team in the name of her daughters. I mean, you never expect to bury your kids. I mean, that's, that's, not, supposed, that's not the way it's supposed to happen. And 11 and 12, I mean, they were so young. Not how this mother planned her life. Left daughterless, but not hopeless. She's found a new mission. I know that their choice to get in that car and drive does not affect just them. It affects so many people. In Jefferson County, Callie Desmond, KFDM 6 News.